Hey, good morning guys, it's Jason for Pro Dogs Dog Training. Hey, sorry I haven't got a video out uh, probably last week or two. Uh, my normal job, which is I work for a trucking firm, keeps me pretty busy. And so a lot of times I don't get a quick break to do a quick video. So this morning I um, took a quick break and thought I'd do a little quick video on working on the motion exercises. So Mordecai has his IPO, or now it's called IGP-1, um, in the one... Uh, there's not too much of a conflict with the motion exercises. Um, you uh, return to the dog on the down and there's not a stand. However, the IGP 2 and 3 gets a little bit more difficult. So this morning I'm going to be really focusing on speed. Um, just honestly, just the consistency speed. Um, one of the things that I realize with my own dogs is a lot of times um, the dogs will revert to the strongest or the most anchored behavior, which is usually the down in my case. Um, and so a lot of times when you ask the dog to sit, the dog will just naturally go into down because the dog is not stupid and the dog tries to reason and says, hey, the quicker I do something, the quicker I'm going to get the reinforcer. So the problem is usually the dog doesn't really listen to what you're saying and the dog just reacts to either you know body language or to too many reps of one particular muscle memory. So today I'm going to do um, work on my stance, my sits, and my downs. Um, my primary reinforcer is going to be it's just this big ball uh, put out by uh, Gapai. Um, and that's going to be my primary reinforcer. My secondary reinforcer will be Get It. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. After the video, uh, if you have any questions, would love to hear from you. And uh, hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, uh, remember, hey, you can send me a Facebook request. You can go to my uh, business page, which is Pro Dogs Dog Training. Um, hit that like button. That way you can stay up to date on all my videos and all my trainings. So let's see how it goes. No.
All right, guys, so hey, that wasn't actually too bad. Um, the, one of the questions I get quite often is why I use a, uh, a free marker sometimes and not the, my terminal marker. Um, one of the reasons is that I found out that a lot of times if I release the dog but not the release the dog to the indirect reward, it actually builds up some a little bit of frustration and builds up a little bit more drive um, where I'm kind of removing, not really removing the item, but not really removing the reinforcer, but building the anticipation for the reinforcer to come. In other words, I want to add some duration into my exercises. So I want to teach my dog that not every time the dog uh, is asked a marker, the dog is going to get the reinforcer. Sometimes there's the anticipation of the reinforcer, which a lot of times is uh, more rewarding to the dog than the reinforcer um, is altogether. And I know this is a really strange concept. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, but sometimes anticipation is higher than the, the reinforcer itself. Um, and we understand this from human psychology, which a lot of times uh, when people play the slot machine, uh, the, the desire, not the desire, but the anticipation of re, uh, winning a uh, reward is much higher than the actual receiving of or the winning of the of the slot machine payout or whatever the case may be. So sometimes the anticipation is greater than the reinforcer itself. So it's a little bit of what I do with Mordecai. What I'll do is I'll ask for a behavior, I'll release him with a free command, which means no, he does not get the reinforcer, but it's the anticipation of the reinforcer hopefully to come. Um, and then sometimes I give him the reinforcer marker or my terminal marker, which is get it. And that means at that point he can get the, uh, get the uh, indirect reward. So anyways, hey, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. I would love your support. If you're watching this on Facebook, would love to see or from you. Uh, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a message here on Facebook. Or you can visit my website, engageyourdog.com. So thank you guys again for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and happy training.